Hey, it's Chris. With the release of iPadOS 15, Apple's come out with some really interesting new features that can help us be more productive in Apple Notes. One of the best new features in iPadOS 15, whether we're talking about notes or anything else, is this, the ability to create a quick note. Now, to create a quick note, you can either drag up with a finger or you can just use your Apple Pencil. It works the same way in either case. Now, what I like about Quick Notes is that any screen or app that you happen to be on essentially becomes part of Apple Notes by extension. So for instance, I could just be in Apple Music listening to some music and have an idea about something. And I can pull up a Quick Note without having to get into Apple Notes. And since I already have one up here, I can just hit New. And what I wanna do is as I have thoughts that relate to this tweet thread, I wanna open up a Quick Note and write those thoughts down. So what I like about these Quick Notes is that they're resizable. So you can just use two fingers to pinch and resize as needed. And then if you wanna put a note away, you just wanna get it off the screen for a while, swipe down on it, it'll disappear. You'll get a little tab that will let you bring it back out. You can do things with it, swipe it away again. You can see it goes to either side of the screen, depending on which side you've got it on. Now there are multiple ways to create a quick note. You don't have to use your finger or an Apple Pencil. There's also a shortcut that you can access in the control center and brings that up. But I think what I'll end up using even more is the new keyboard shortcut. So if you hold down the globe key, you're gonna be able to see all the different system-wide shortcuts. And I'm gonna find the one that says quick note, it's globe Q. I can either tap on it here or actually hit globe Q and that will bring up my quick note. Now, as you dig into quick notes and you really start creating a bunch of these, it's gonna be helpful to know that you can take one or two fingers and swipe through your recent quick notes. And additionally, we should make a note here to say, you can use your Apple Pencil inside of a quick note. Just tap on that pen tool and you can write just like you normally would. When I use quick notes, I am going to be adding in tags, which is a new feature here. Let's just say work and that's just hashtag work. You can see it highlights, turns yellow, becomes a tag. And if I go into my Apple Notes, you'll notice that there's a folder up here at the top called Quick Notes, and I've only got two in here right now because I deleted a bunch so that I could show everything here in this video. But this Quick Notes folder at the top of your folder section in your Apple Notes is where your Quick Notes are gonna automatically live. So for me, whenever I create a Quick Note, I am going to give it a tag right off the bat. I'm gonna give it a tag of work and another tag of video ideas and one more tag that says scripted. So I'll add in my idea there and maybe I'll add a sketch that helps me understand what I'm talking about here. Now these tags are gonna do something really interesting. Let me show you. I'm gonna hit done on this note and then we're gonna hit globe left arrow key to get back into Apple Notes since that was recently opened and you can just use that to navigate between your apps really easily. And then what I'm gonna do is come down into the bottom left corner and tap on new folder, but there's a new option here and it says new folder and new smart folder. I'm gonna hit new smart folder and we're gonna call this ideas for scripted videos. And now what I can do is have Apple Notes automatically populate this smart folder with just the notes that match certain tags. So I'm gonna say scripted video ideas and hit done. And then over here on the left, my new smart folder appears and there's a note in there. It's the note I just created and it's appearing based on those tags. So if you use Quick Notes in combination with these tags and smart folders like I've just shown you, this is a really powerful method to get ideas out of your head without having to worry about organizing them. Now this is just a general Apple Notes tip, but if you really wanted to, you could link to your other notes pretty easily. What I'm about to show you isn't nearly as refined or as powerful or as easy to use as something like Rome Research. But if I tap on the three dots at the top of a note, and say share note, I can get this option to copy a link. And then what it's gonna do is give me this interface to add people. I don't have to add anybody. I can just tap on copy link in the top right there and I can go to another note and then paste that link in. And when I tap on that link, it will then go to the other note. One of the most powerful features of Quick Note is being able to quickly add a link to any website that you're currently viewing while you have the Quick Note interface up. Obviously, this is gonna be really useful when it comes to doing some research online. So if you've never encountered Naval's very famous How to Get Rich, Seek Wealth, Not Money, or Status tweet storm from 2018, there's some life-changing thoughts here, but when you find something that you like, you can just highlight it and just say, add to Quick Note. And that actually ends up highlighting that text and giving me a really nicely formatted quote and link. Let's say I go back to Andy Minio's website and at some point in the future, I end up making my way back to Naval's article here and I bring up a quick note 
that highlight is persistent and so is that link in my quick note. Now, the reason that that's really cool is because let's say I go to a different website and find a quote I like from Naval that I wanna add. So let me grab this one right here and just say add to quick note. Well, now I'm starting to build a library of information from different websites that I can quickly get back to. So look how easily now I can navigate back and forth between those two different quotes. And you can just stack and stack the value here as you add stuff to one quick note from multiple websites. But let me just say, if you're enjoying the vibe of this video, if you're getting some value out of this, why not hit subscribe? Because I've got lots of iPad tips and apps and accessory videos hitting the channel all the time, and I'd love for you to join me. Let's move on to general Apple Notes stuff now. And I'm gonna open up Apple Notes, and the first thing I want you to notice is that we're getting this shelf interface down here on the bottom so that I can easily switch between those. And if I tap on one, you'll notice that it centers. So that is one way to use the new center feature. And the center feature, it just gives gives you more of a rich preview than you would otherwise get. And some people will just prefer working in the center of the screen versus having to work with slide over or when the note is just kind of off centered. But something else you can do is tap and hold on a note and say, open a new window. And that will also open up a window in that center view. But let's talk a little bit about the on-screen keyboard shortcuts bar because that's gotten a little bit of a redesign. So if I tap into this note and get my cursor going here, I'm gonna maximize the screen. You'll see that this bar is a lot smaller and more compact than it used to be. So it covers up less of the screen now, which is great, but it has a secret trick. You can grab it and move it just like you can with the Apple Pencil toolbar. So if you need it to get totally out of the way, you can do that. And me being somebody who dictates as many things as possible, whether it's emails or text messages or notes, you name it. I'm really happy that we have this dictation button here that will let me dictate something. And you can see because I'm using the shrunken version of the on-screen keyboard that it doesn't take up the whole screen, which I really like because this is how it normally looks. Normally, it looks like this and it really obfuscates things and I find that pretty annoying. So the way to minimize that interface is simply to use the floating keyboard. So you can long press on the keyboard button and select floating, which gives you the mini keyboard where you can swipe around but also when you dictate something, you now get that smaller, more compact interface. Now accessing the dictation tools used to be more of a pain and people used to freak out when I told them that you could double tap the control button to activate dictation. But we don't have to do that anymore because there's actually a global shortcut for that. If you hold down the globe key, it's gonna tell you all the shortcuts. And if you prefer now, you can just hit globe D to activate dictation that way. Now I'm a video person and I make a lot of scripts and. One thing that's really cool about Apple Notes because that's the place where I do an awful lot of writing is that I can use the new translation feature to do something like add international captions to a video. So let's pretend that this is a script that I've written here. I'm gonna select that and say translate and I can change that into any language that I want. Right now it defaulted into Spanish. I can even have it speak it. Esto es solo un trozo de texto de muestra que puedo mostrar traducido para un flujo de trabajo en particular. That may have just said something that I don't approve of, <laughs> but nevertheless, that's a pretty interesting feature. Now I mentioned tags earlier, and I wanna point out that you don't have to type a tag out using the keyboard. You can also just use your Apple Pencil. So if you come in here and write a hashtag and give it the tag of your choice, and then you get out of using the Apple Pencil, you'll see that it underlines. It's a recognize it as something that I can take action on. It's not converted to a tag yet though. I need to tap on it and say convert to tag. Once I do that, let me make sure I don't have that tag. Okay, I don't have that tag anywhere else. If I go back out here and look at the tags browser and tap on work, that now shows up because of the tag that I hand wrote. Now, speaking of using the Apple Pencil for stuff, one feature that I'm really excited about is the ability to now insert images into an Apple Note, resize them, move them around, and mark them up with an Apple Pencil. So what you wanna do is grab an image from another app and drag it into your Apple Note, and you can see that gray box appear. When that appears, then you know you can drop that in and be able to mark it up. And then I can tap on it and you can see I've got some handles now so that I can actually resize that and move it around wherever I want. And so I'm gonna actually make that a little bit bigger and put it kind of like right there. And then I'm gonna be done with it and I'm gonna use the Apple Pencil to circle the keyboard. And maybe if I'm using some of the new collaboration features, I might wanna let somebody know that this keyboard right here is from Sateki. And I can write on this and it's great. People have been waiting for this for a really long time. All right, now I wanna show you something interesting. Let's say 
you're somewhere and you don't have access to your iPad and you make a handwritten note, could be a sticky note, like a post-it note, or maybe you're just using a piece of paper like this. Oh, which is a great opportunity to tell you, Paperlike is the best iPad screen protector I've ever used. I can't stand a naked iPad screen now after using it. You can check out paperlike.com slash daily tech to try it out for yourself. Hashtag sponsored, hashtag work. Very conveniently, I can just snap a photo of that piece of paper using my iPhone or the camera on my iPad and drop it into a note here in Apple Notes. Thanks to that new live text feature, I can open that photo and I can select some of that text, copy it, and then use it somewhere else. The other thing that I can do is make really smart use of screenshots within Apple Notes. So I'll use my Apple Pencil and I'll take a screenshot here. I'm then gonna create a quick note. I'm then gonna tap on the camera icon. I'm gonna choose that screenshot and insert it. And now guess what? All that text is completely searchable whenever I perform a search within Apple Notes. So yes, I could sit there and type or handwrite all the relevant information or and sometimes the lazy way is the smarter way. I can just do the screenshot and let that be my notes. Now, I've talked a little bit already about focus modes, but I think it's worth mentioning here because Apple Notes is one of those core productivity apps that we all tend to use or at least dip into even if we have other note systems in place. So it's worth noting that you can set up a focus that's maybe specifically for work during work hours or when you're at your office that will automatically show you a certain home screen that maybe has some particular widgets for Apple Notes enabled. So how should you think about Apple Notes and Quick Notes in terms of workflows? Well, for me, when I'm thinking about a workflow, I'm really thinking about data in, data processed, and then data out. Data could be anything. It could be numbers, it could be paragraphs, it could be photos or videos, but data somehow gathered and then manipulated and then shared. So for instance, data in. I've got Apple Notes with that photo I took over here. I can copy things out of that photo and come over here and paste them and right into my node. But data in for you could mean gathering information from Safari and adding it to a quick note. Coming into notes here, and if I have a lot, I can actually long press on this and tell it to do small images and it won't take up nearly as much space. And then you can process this data by maybe opening up an app like MindNode, just grabbing and dragging and dropping the information that you need in order to build an outline very quickly. But then, oh shoot, what did that website say? Well, here's your reference, click on it. It brings up not only the website, but the quick note right next to it so I can continue making notes and researching. And that quick note feature in particular is just a super powerful way to gather data that you can then process. All right, well, that's it for this video. I hope you got something out of it. If you did, do me a favor and leave me a comment with the timestamp to your favorite part of the video. And also, I would love to connect with you on the Hey It's Chris podcast. That's my main podcast, and it's really just a hangout. Sometimes we talk about Apple, sometimes just life or behind the scenes stuff. So if that sounds enjoyable to you, I'd love to catch up with you there as well. Again, don't forget to get subscribed because new iPad content is coming out on the channel frequently, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Later.